you, Kirsten. Uh, so this is something you don't see every day. Tennis balls on fire just falling all around you. This picture of one of many <laughs> you'll see at DIA and other events around town this month through June, all to celebrate Asian Pacific American Heritage Month. The United States Association, Tennis Association, Colorado District is teaming up with the Denver International Airport's Arts and Culture Program to bring you this very unique exhibit. And joining us right now is the model in that picture, oh, Debbie yeah. Yoder, <laughs> member of the USTA Board of Directors. Thank you so much for being here. That is the coolest picture, and we were just talking, that's not photoshopped. That is actually no. tennis balls on fire around you. Definitely. Yes, thank you. And thank you for having me. I'm happy to be here. Of course. So we're yes. here because of Breaking Barriers 2.0. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, and it, it is a follow-up of the uh, highly successful 2011 Breaking the Barriers exhibit um, featuring or honoring the African-American achievements in tennis. So the United States, uh, USTA Colorado returns with the Breaking the Barriers 2.0. Now this is to honor also the Asian uh, Pacific um, tennis uh, pioneers, uh, contributors, and also uh, the upcoming young tennis uh, stars um, in honor of the Asian Pacific Heritage yeah. Month. And it's yeah. also to bring diversity too, you know, part of the Breaking the Barriers program to be all inclusive with, with the sport of tennis. And Definitely. to celebrate, we had the privilege, really the honor of photo photographer, this is Pulitzer Prize winning photographer Barry Gutierrez, mm -hmm. uh, to put to the portraits you're seeing there together. Uh, tell us about some of the pictures we're going through now. Uh, this is actually taken in um, at Gates Tennis Center. Uh -huh. You know, they put uh, clay on the face and right. and all that. And it, look at that, all the crackings of the Your face experience. Oh, so just yes. to give people the background, this is theme is the earth, wind, fire, water, the, the elements. That's I, I guess. And for you, I mean, this it's is wild. amazing. So what did you have to go through for this? Oh, there's about like 20 balls on fire and it's uh, suspended <laughs> around me. And I I wasn't really scared. It's, uh, because they had a fire extinguisher in the fire department around you? Correct, <laughs> correct. And there were like um, uh, half a dozen gorgeous firemen at Elm <laughs> Creek. It always makes it a little bit easier. <laughs> yes. wow. Let's take a look at this one because Christine also had the pleasure to take part in this and this is just a great shot. That was fun. I didn't have the firefighters. I, I had uh, some people rescuing me from a pool. This was actually inside a pool um, with Barry on this. Okay. and. Uh, this is the, one of the first few pictures that we took, and he's just an amazing, super, super talented. We want to mention, though, if you play tennis or even if you don't, there are so many ways that people can help Definitely. promote the sport. And you guys through USTA have a lot of programs for yes. uh, youth and after-school programs as well? Correct, yes. And also we have uh, scholarships uh, from the CYTF, which is the Colorado Youth Tennis Foundation, and for those deserving uh, tennis players. And also we have leagues that we play on, um, 18 years old and above, and also um, uh, rackets for all, you know, for uh, youth groups and schools. And those are donated rackets, people Correct. who no longer use those rackets. And I think yeah. oftentimes you think of tennis, maybe like golf is like a shishi sport or whatnot, but mm -hmm. there are so many programs out there to kind of allow people who otherwise wouldn't get to play this sport at least try Correct. it. So. Everyone at least Correct. give it a try and yeah. then see what happens from there. Maybe yes. in a pool or surrounded by flying <laughs> fire tennis balls flying <laughs> around. Yeah. Right. Yes. All right, thank you so much, Debbie, for being here. We really appreciate it. Thank and again, you. you can check out all of the Breaking Bears 2.0 exhibit at DIA. It's going to be there through June. And there are a number of other events where you can also check out the portraits. We've put a link on our website. Just go to the denverchannel.com and look under the section for community. Mm -hmm. Thanks again, Debbie. Thank you.